In other news this morning, the trial continues today for a Philadelphia teenager accused of shooting and killing two other teens. Eyewitness News reporter Jan Carabeo is live at the Criminal Justice Center in Center City with more on this story. Good morning, Jan. Janelle and Jim, good morning. This double murder trial is expected to resume here at the CJC at 9 o'clock this morning. It is a case that involves a lot of teenagers, two teenage victims, a teenage defendant, many teenage eyewitnesses. Now, the defendant, Brandon Oliveri, maintained his innocence yesterday as his trial got underway with opening statements. Meantime, the family and friends of the victims here, they are convinced of his guilt and they're seeking justice. He was a great kid. He was an excellent kid. This is the year he's supposed to graduate. He's supposed to be going on this prom. Aisha George putting into perspective a life cut short when her son, Kalir Miller, was shot and killed in South Philadelphia back in October 2017. Miller, a student at Mastery Charter School, was just 16 years old. Prosecutors say he was not the intended target. I don't know why anyone would uh, purposely want to hurt my son because he never did anything to hurt anyone. Miller was just one of two teenage victims that day. Prosecutors say Brandon Oliveri gunned down the teens at 12th and Rittner Streets after Oliveri had gotten into a fight with 16-year-old St. Joseph's Prep student Salvatore Danubli. I'm going to talk to the mother of a witness right now. Prosecutor David Osborne didn't say much outside the courthouse Tuesday afternoon, but during opening statements said Oliveri was seeking revenge when he shot and killed Danubli. Oliveri's attorney argued that the prosecution can't prove it saying investigators never recovered a gun and lack forensic evidence. It's really just heartbreaking to have to see him and know that he's the person responsible for taking my cousin's life. Justice meaning that he never comes out and ever see um, daylight ever again. I feel like my son or Salvatore um, did not get a second chance at life. I don't think that he should either. Now, Oliveri was 16 years old at the time of this shooting. He's now 18. If convicted of first degree murder, he could spend life in prison. We are reporting live outside of the CJC this morning. Jan Carabeo, CBS3, Eyewitness News. Janelle and Jim, back into you. Thank you, Jan.